I want solos and duos, man. Well, I don't I actually. I really want that. I want ranked so fucking bad so I can like play and try hard for, for some reason. I don't really I have a reason to now. That's what I was saying. Remember? Like, yep. That's that's the number one thing. Duos I mean, are, I think duos are always the most competitive. Duos know. and ranked would be fun. Solos ranked kind of just deathmatch no matter what. Yeah, no, if they wait too long, it'll be really bad for the game, I think, for sure. Too long for a rank right. mode? Yep. Do you think they're actually... Well... I, they, I, I don't mean, even before... know if they ever add one, but I think they really, 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 really need to add one for players who want to yeah. keep, like, playing the game. Right, because, like, any BR game is going to get stale if there's nothing going on for it. Or... I guess Fortnite doesn't have a rank mode, so... Or know. customs, and uh, have the yeah. customs, like, you know, and then face it or something. That shit's cool. Fortnite has ranked now? Yeah, I know. The Fortnite was huge and stayed huge for a long time with consistent growth after its initial explosion because of like really good content upgrades, really enjoyable battle passes and stuff, you know? Like everyone who enjoyed the game said a lot of good shit about the game nonstop, right? So a lot of uh, people who enjoy this game who don't think very positively about the game. That's the problem. People, they need to like really push stuff out. But they're releasing another I character mean, this season, which is good. But that's why this I'm game, there's, there, there's more pressure for Apex, right? Because it, Fortnite had a year to be like the first real BR game that people really enjoyed in that capacity for like not fucking PUBG. But this game has to stream with all of them. 1 health in there if you want to just kill him. Someone's on this roof. Alright, I guess he's dead. No, I know PUBG, H1Z, what in Minecraft, BR and shit, I know. I'm not saying it's the first BR game in the world. I'm saying it's the first, first BR really game good. with that level of explosion, right? The game exploded. It just kept growing and it kept growing and never stopped growing and it kept growing and it kept growing. And people would just play that game blindly over any other game. They didn't care about any other game. And then famous people, Drake, Ninja, really young players. It really like everyone was playing it, right? So they had a long time to fix the game. This game, because of its release, is naturally and completely understandably always going to be compared to every other BR in the game, like in the in the in the world, right? This game is always going to be compared to Fortnite and uh be a PUBG, et cetera, et cetera. So they, these guys are under way more pressure to fix their game and make it enjoyable and adding game modes of content that people enjoy. So that's why they have to like really do a really good job. Rank doesn't need to be in BR games in your opinion. Yeah, but like you're probably, that's completely fair. I totally understand that. But you also probably don't win every single game you play, you know? If we play to win, we would win every single game we played and it would just get really boring. So that's why you want more competition, you know? Like if the game was just really easy to you, you wouldn't say that. Like, like it gets to a certain point where you just die to the same things every game and they're kind of like, it's like you make a choice that's going to decide if you die to those things. Like, if we decide that we're going to play really well, we're probably not going to lose. If we decide to go for kills, so we automatically know that we're going to die to that Like, I wouldn't be pushing like, right, holding W into the enemy team here. Yeah. That's kind of all we're trying to do is get the most kills we can. That's the only objective we have. Okay, well. New kill leader, go on, watch out. Coming. Is that you that was shooting? Yeah, he's in the smoke, dead. Couldn't even see him, but he was just crouch walking in a straight line in his own <laughs> poison. <laughs> Oh, man. One thing I hate about rank is it'll make people toxic as fuck. And you just make the rank requirement, you, you need to play with two pre-mates. Yeah, you can't solo queue. I mean, that seems fine. Or, like, you just play rank solo if you just want to be ranked by yourself. And that way it's more competitive as well. I mean, there's literally no toxicity if you're picking your own fucking teammates. I mean, that's not true. Meta's really mean to me a lot, but... You deserve it. The thing is that they don't need a perfect rank mode. They don't need, like, dynamic queue. They don't need shit like that. They need a rank mode. Because if or you just want to rank ladder, would not be bad. Yeah, like for a start, for sure. Ugh. I don't know. I, I don't think they're just gonna pump out like a rank queue right off the bat. You never know. Some work. People over there. They should make events. Most kills in a week with badges. Not right now. That would be really bad. It would be fun, fun for sure if it worked. It's not, but it that would be, about be most so teams, many. Though. There would be so many cheaters doing that shit that it wouldn't even matter. But let's but. say they introduce a rank mode. In order to play in the rank mode, are you serious? They're both really low, by the way. I'm kind of far slow. Let's say it's just rank mode, and you have to be max level to play in it. 
changes a lot because cheaters are gonna have a much harder time. <laughs> like I'm trying to not shoot that guy because he's absorbing all my bullets, but you're strafing the right too, so I'm just it's no one no shots, no openings. Max level's on fair? Oh yeah. No, max level is not a like a, a, a system that I, I like suggest. I'm just saying that it would make it a lot harder for cheaters, and there's a lot of like methods you can do that isn't just anti-cheat. You can have anyone who spent money on the game above a certain point gets access to it. Uh, you can play it for free entirely if you you know, link your phone number, like, and you can just oh. access it, like, CSGO Prime. There's so many different things. I, I, a rank queue would be really cool. I just, I don't know, like, for some reason, I just never see that happening. I guess it's just because no BR has ever had that. Fortnite has it. A rank queue? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. What, how long have they had that? H1Z1 had rank. Minecraft, fucking Hunger Games, BR, whatever it was. Yeah, I guess I forgot about that. You're right. The biggest like problem is MMR based matchmaking, but I would be like uh, Battle Right Royale. They had a fun, enjoyable rank system, and it was just based on playing pubs, and you would just get points. Yeah, the only thing I'm thinking about, like you know, about how I said the leaderboard, is it would actually be kind of shitty because it's like we would be forced to try hard in pubs. Yeah, but if they fix the pacing issues with the extremely slow circles and adaptive circle rates too. That would make pub something more fun and it wouldn't be based on like average kills per game it would be like kills give you a point and wins give you a point or whatever yeah because right now there's like no intensity to the game unless there's like an event and you're like trying to go for a certain kill record but even then you're just fighting scrubs all the time like yeah. being it, it doesn't really scratch your competitive itch as a player playing apex right now dude this one guy in my chat named mega mega and every time he writes in my chat it says i have him blocked but i don't have him blocked it just says like this message is blocked, so maybe he's blocked me, but he types in my chat. I don't know how it works. Every time, I know it's him because I can't read his messages. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to do it. It was worth it. It was worth it. I don't know. I think ranked is a necessity for PvP games, like multiplayer games. I don't think a multiplayer game no. should exist without ranked if it's even remotely competitive in nature in 2019. I mean, Hearthstone has ranked. Come on. I, I just think it's a necessity because I can play a game that I hate just for the rank system. I did it with Overwatch just because That's it had a like... rank system. Is that what you did with HOTS? No, the, the HOTS rank system wasn't that great. I mean, it's so, a rank system, you know? So you have something. Had something. Yeah. It was one of the worst I've ever played, for sure. Yeah, but would you play HOTS as much as you did if it literally only had pubs? Oh, if it only had pubs? Uh, no. I came here to Yeah, that's what I mean. Maybe that's what got me into the game in the first place. Yeah, but like, even even if the ranked is really bad, it gives you something to play for. Mm -hmm. You like feel something after you win or lose. Like, I've never felt like, oh my gosh, we won! Except the time that I killed somebody with a controller. Other than that, <laughs> like, I, I just haven't felt anything winning in Apex, really. It's actually worse than PUBG. Because like in PUBG, I really felt like I earned it, like when I won. In this game, it's just like man. I mean, it's fun. Like it's a fun game. It's just fun for different reasons. I think is is the thing. It's very casual. And face it, showing interest in a tournament means if custom games are kind of thing, maybe rank will become a thing, like pugs or something. That would be sick. Duo pugs. Yeah, even customs would be great. Screams are just bad because of the downtime if you die, because you can't queue up for another game until the one lobby is done, or the Whoa. one custom game is done. It's just not worth it. it yeah, I guess if there, it depends what kind of system there was. Like, if there was, like, a third-party system with its own rank, it could be, like, third-party rank, basically. The, the thing is, scrims will always be one or two lobbies running of, like, top players. You die, you have to wait that lobby out to get, a, like, to be able to play against the best players. Ranked with a third-party matchmaking system, though, is, like, way different. Because then you just... You don't care about like playing with pro players on your team, you know, the best players that you can imagine on your team. Like I would be playing with Dizzy and King Richard or something, you know, we would be playing scrim, tryharding. Lobby's done, we want to play against the best players too. Ranked, I would just get a squad going where we would just play ranked, you know, to try to climb and win shit and it wouldn't be the best possible squad I could possibly imagine. So the the best possible well, be competition. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't give a fuck, you know? It's not like, I don't care, I wouldn't care about ranked, but I would play to win. Even if I don't care about like my ranking or anything, I would play the game with the intention of winning every time. So that's uh, like why I, I don't think everyone experiences like the same feeling that we have when we play games. 
I saw you were on, so I took off work for the day. Dude, and I don't know. Like, what really? is your chat saying? I got you. Like, understanding it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if okay. they're watching me, and they understand my sarcasm, and they understand I'm a competitive player and stuff, you know, a lot of people just understand. The thing is, no one can say no to a rank system. If you say, oh, wait, it's going to split up the community, they're just really stupid because the community that would be split up by rank would just have people that would stop playing it regardless, you know? Ranked is going to maintain a lot of the player base just because of a ranked. Yeah, it'll bring more people in. It'll make people strive Damn to actually girls. increase the skill of the game. Dude, they're all low. Yeah, like, I have a scout. I don't know what I'm doing. Push out the Having ranked is better for casual, but I want rank too. Yeah, I mean, if you run into me in game, okay, let's say I, I wasn't a streamer. I was just a good player, you know, and I would just go in, you know, we played a 1v3, it happens a lot. The people playing against us. Oh god, I'm dead. What the fuck do you get for 20 subs? Oh my god, he. Oh my god, he just happened to be on that side. I always play try hard to win regardless of rank. I don't get this discussion by losing with non-optimal plays. So imagine this. If we played even remotely seriously, we would play and win every single game. You know, we wouldn't take every fight. Maybe our kill counts wouldn't be as high. We wouldn't have as many really cool plays or like 1v3s or like sick headshots or whatever. We wouldn't be in many fun scenarios or situations that we have to clutch out of. We'd win every game. Uh, it would be like we're, we, would, we would be smurfing. We would be the best, you know, you know, top level rank of Counter Strike. We're playing as Silvers who play with their feet on their keyboards, you know. That's a pub in a BR game. Maybe we'll have one good fight every now and then. Overall, with 50 million players, the average player is not very good. And even versus good players, the top level of play is a lot higher than good players. The the, the one percent of the one percent, you know. That's the whole point. There's no incentive for us to play to win because. We did when the game released, and we just won so much that it's, it's gotten bored now. I, I did I did this in Blackout. Someone was like, well, if you're not winning, then you should just play to win. And I literally sat in a building and stared at a wall for 20 minutes and walked out, killed the last squad. And then I'm like, this is how you win. <laughs> like, not that we would have to do that, but that's like, if you're really trying to win, that can be the most optimal play sometimes. It's just not enjoyable to watch or to do. Yeah, playing to win is a lot of avoiding fights, playing very safe, playing on rotations, blah, blah, blah. Here. So bright. It looks like there's like arc stars all around it. Some nowhere in that direction. Yeah, they are. One's pushing across. Oh, that's never mind. Shut the fuck up, chat. One's one health. Being a seven feeling included in the community. Yeah. I want others to experience that feeling. Thank you all for your hearts. Mendo Blush. Dude, the Norags are insane. Recharging my shields. I don't want to play like this guy. Was that your smoke? No. He's one health. Jesus fucking Christ, I am stacked. How about both of you have gold armor? My god. Gold armor, gold helm, uh, gold backpack. I guess I just need to get better at looting. Digital threat. Yeah, dude. Streamer loot. It's because I, I got a lot of gifted subs, so that's why. Have you ever had uh, four legendaries? He dropped down the octane. I haven't had all four. Let's find a res shield for me, dude. Did he go into the building? Yeah. Ah, uh, he doesn't have one. Wait, that wasn't a guy that dropped down. There's an octane yeah, somewhere. An octane. Yeah. Oh my god, I double stuck him with an arc star. Look at that guy. He's just trying his best, but he literally can't avoid death. Okay, nothing you can do. That was so on, but RNG. 